Fine. Let's do this. Departmental stores. A chain of departmental stores has outlets in Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru and Kolkata. The sales are categorized by its three departments. Apparel, Electronics and Home Decor. Apparels, Electronics and Home Decor. Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru, Kolkata. An accountant has been asked to prepare a summary of the 2018 and 19 sales amounts for an internal report. He has collated partial information and prepared the following table. I love these sets. I love these sets because they're going to be number dependent. They're going to tell us that growth from this to this is same as growth from this to this. The percentage growth from this to this is same as this to this. And then a, a total for 2018 is less than total for 2019 by 40 crores. Something like that. And then we fill all the data in. Everything gets filled in. We answer questions. I'm hoping for that. I like this pure, the logical reasoning part is just number filling. I'm very comfortable with percentage growth, this and that, and putting some variable in. So if, you, if I find a set like this, I'm jumping in. And partial information is totally my thing. And let's look at this. And then the following additional information is given. Sales amounts in apparel were the same in Delhi and Kolkata. In apparel were the same for Mumbai and Bengaluru, etc. etc. I can't keep all of this in my head. I'm going to draw the table, and go one by one and attack this. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The more the constraints are there, happier I am. Because that tells me that I'm likely to fill the entire grid and not have six variants there. And let's go step by step. I've filled all this in. The sales amounts in apparel department were the same for Delhi and Kolkata in 2018 so this is x this is x 2018 delhi and kolkata are same sales amount in apparel department with the same for mumbai and bengaluru in 18 mumbai bengaluru 18 why why this sales amount matched the sales amount in the apparel department for delhi in 2019 this is also why lovely so this we have accounted for, this we have accounted for. We put in two variables. The sales amounts in the home decor department were the same for Mumbai and Kolkata in 2018. Mumbai, Kolkata, same. This is Z. This is Z. Lovely. The sum of the sales amounts of the four electronic departments increased by the same amount as the sum of the sales of the floor apparel departments from 2018 to 19. Four electronic departments increase by the same amount as apparel department. Electronic department, we have all the data. And this is plus 20, plus 20, minus 20, plus 20. 20 plus 20, 40, minus 20, 20 plus 20, 40. So electronics is up 40, up 40 crores. So apparel department from 2018 to 19 should have also been up by 40 crores. We are not saying percentage growth, the actual sales amount is equal. Electronic department, I can add all four and find it. Simpler way, plus 20, plus 20, minus 20, plus 20. These two, what is increase, what decrease and increase, they cancel each other out. Two increases, so 40 crores increase. So apparel should have also increased by 40 crores from 18 to 19. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go and see the next set of constraints. So X and X, Y, 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 Z, Z, we filled in all the data. Fine. Lovely. Electronic, the apparel department should have been up 40 crores. All sales amounts are in rupees crores. The total sales amounts of the four home decor departments increased by rupees 70 crores from 18 to 19. 70 crore increase. This is 20 crores. This is 20 crores. So these two should have accounted for the remaining 30 crores. And so 20 and 20, 40 crores increase you have accounted for. These two should amount for the remaining 20. The 2018 numbers are Z and Z. So 2Z increasing to 72 plus 54, which is 126. Increasing to 126, this is an increase of 30 crores. So 2Z becoming 126 is an increase of 30 crores or 2Z. 2 times Z is 126 minus 30, which is 96 crores. Or Z is 48. 48. Of our three variables, we have already found one. 48 and 48. We still have some gaps. We'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. Wonderful. Let's go to the next one. The sales amounts in the home decor departments of Delhi and Bengaluru each increased by rupees 20 crores from 2018 to 19. Home decor of Delhi and Bengaluru 
each increase by 20. So this is a math why this should be 48 cores remaining. This is just a computational part. It's not a constraint. Sorry. We've got that. We've got Z is 48. Let's fill that in. Let's go to the next part. The sales amounts in apparel departments of Delhi and Bengaluru each increased by the same amount in 2019 from 18. Delhi and Bengaluru increased by the same thing. This goes from X to Y, an increase of Y minus X. It should go from Y to something increasing by Y minus X. Of this becomes 2 minus 2Y minus X. Lovely. So sales amounts in the apparel departments of Mumbai and Kolkata also each increase by the same amount. Mumbai and Kolkata. Kolkata is X to 54, increased by 54 minus X. Add this be Y plus 54 minus X. We've got everything. We've got a bunch of numbers filled in. For electronics and home decor, we've got everything filled in. For apparel, we have two variables, X and Y. But you filled everything based on X and Y. The last one is an actual number. So if you have something linked in X and Y, we're through. The sales amounts in the apparel departments of Delhi, Kolkata and Bengaluru in 2019 followed an arithmetic progression. Delhi, Kolkata, Bengaluru of 2019. Delhi 2019 which is Y. Kolkata 2019 which is 54. Bengaluru 2019 which is 2Y minus X. This is an AP. R. This plus this is 2 times this or y plus 2y minus x is 108 or this gives us 3y minus x equals 108. An arithmetic progression, two extreme terms add up to twice the middle term. 54 minus y equals 2y minus x minus 54. 2 times 54 is sum of these two. 3y minus x is 108. Brilliant. We have one more thing linking x and y. We are through. Maybe we will get that. The sales amounts in apparel department followed an arithmetic progression. Now, we also know one thing, the apparel total increased by 40 crores. That we know, we still know that. We also know that 3y minus x equals 108. What is the apparel increase here? Here it is y minus x. What is the increase here? Here it is 54 minus x. Here, this is y minus x. Here, this is 54 minus x. We already know these two are equal, these two are equal. The total amount increase is 40 or y minus x plus y minus x 2y minus 2x plus 54 minus x plus 54 minus x and an 8 minus 2x equals 40 or 2y minus 4x plus 68 equal to 0 we have 3y minus x equal to 108 4x minus 2y is 68 or we can rewrite this and say 2x minus y equals 34. So we solve this 3y minus x is 108 2x minus y or how do I write this maybe we'll keep this as 2x minus y 2x minus y equals 34 double this 6y minus 2x is 216. Add these two. 6y minus y is 5y. 5y is 250 or y is 50. y is 50. 3y minus x is 108. We can find x. And so y equals 50. 3y minus x is 108. 3 into 50 minus x is 108. 3 into 50 is 150. x is 150 minus 108. 150 minus 108, which is 42. X is 42. Brilliant. So we fill everything in. This is X 42. This is Y 50. This is Y 50. This is Y 50. This is X 42. 2 Y minus X 2 into 50, 100 minus 42, 58. Y plus 54 minus X 50. Plus 54 minus 42. 54 minus 42 is 12. 50 plus 12 is 62. Fill everything in. 
42, 50, 50, 62, 50, 58, 42, 54. So we've got the entire set of numbers for apparel, electronics and home decor for 18 and 19 for all four cities. If you just look at these questions and then answer them. We've got the entire grid, plain vanilla plugging in gaps and plain vanilla equation solving in two variables. Nothing more than that. Let's show this. In home decor departments of which cities were the sales amount the highest in 2018 and 19. I don't remember any data point. I've not track city. I've just solved X and Y. Got to look at the table. Highest in 2018 and 19. Home decker. 2018. Highest is Delhi. 1972, 80, 54. Again, Delhi. Delhi and Delhi. Got it. Done. Simple question. Once you've got the grid, it's simple. What is the increase in sales amount in crore rupees? In the apparel department of Mumbai from 18 to 19. 18 to 19 apparel department 50 to 62. 12 crores done. So you get the grade which is marking down the answers. Among all the 12 departments, what was the maximum percentage increase in sales amount from 18 to 19? You need to be very savvy number wise. 42 to 50, not very high. 50 to 62, 12 out of 50, 24%. 50 to 58, low, 42 to 54, low. There's an increase of 12 over 50. There's an increase of 12 over 42. This is the highest so far, 12 by 42. Fine, I'm going to keep that in mind, but I'm going to look at the others. I might have to come back. 12 over 42 is the highest so far, not 8 over 42, 12 over 42. 78 to 98, increase of 20, 8 increase of 20. Decrease, I don't know to worry. Increase of 20. In just 78 to 98, increase of 20 is the best. But 42 to 54 is probably sharper. 12 by 42, 20 by 78. 12, 20 by 78 is close to one fourth. 12 by 42 could be more than one fourth. I, my, my gut feel is higher than that, but I'm not going to really compute. Both are in the 24, 25% range, one fourth range. 80 to 100, 78, 98 is sharper. 48 to 72. Just, this is, this is a winner so far, 48 to 72. It's an increase of 24 on a base of 48, increased by half, increased by 50%. None of those is close to 50. So far is a winner. 60 to 80, one third. Okay, this is also big. This is half. This is lesser or half, 50%. The key thing here to kind of retain some form of RAM. Kind of, you can't compute all, whatever, 12 numbers and then answer this. Not working. It's going to be too time consuming. We don't have an Excel file to plug in a formula. You have to keep on scrolling and then your antenna should go up when there is something which is significant. If you've done the whole thing, the only two significant things would have been these two. That is up by a third, this is up by a 50%, up by half. Up by half is better, that's your answer. What are the total sales amount in crore rupees in 2019 for the chain of departmental stores? 2019, so I'm going to add this, 150, 250, 248, close to 250. The choices are far apart, so I can think of this as even 250. 62, 72, 102, 60 plus 70 is 130, plus 100, 230, 236, 32, 70, 80, 150, 150, 210, I'm overshot in both places, but it's all right. I can remember that. 54, 54, 108 plus 100, 208. I put in another 210 here. We call this 230. Offset it. 250, 480, 420, 900. Just approximating slightly because I know my choices are wide apart. And so I don't want to end with zeros. I don't want to end with six, seven, eight. I can do the accurate number. There are small enough numbers, fewer numbers. But because the choices are far apart, I can even just scan the numbers and get to the answer. 900 is the easy right answer.